Namaskar, welcome to Computer Education Unlocked channel. In today's video, I will teach how to create a system image file together with the Linux Ubuntu operating system and all the application software installed in it. And how to restore it to one or more computers as needed. By creating such a system image file, the operating system and application software can be installed together on a computer in much less time. This will greatly reduce the time and effort required to install the operating system on the computer and install the application software one by one. See the steps of system image creation and restore carefully. Let's start the video. The most important thing to create the system image file is on a 32GB or 64GB pen drive. First install Ubuntu, update the operating system. After that, the application software that you want to install on the system must be installed. And if any change has to be done in the setting then it has to be done. I will search for a Cronus True Image ISO. The website should be open. Clicking on zip will download the file. Download has started. Once downloaded, right click on the zip file. Then go to WinRAR and extract here. The file will be unzip. ISO file is showing. The properties of the file show that it is a disk image file or ISO file. Ventoy download. I will open the first website. Ventoy Windows zip. Ventoy Windows zip. Click to download. Extract the zip file. Open the Ventoy tool by running as administrator. Go to option, partition style, MBR or GPT. Partition configuration, NTFS. OK. Install. Yes. Yes. It will take some time. OK. Copy the ISO file and paste it in the pen drive. Restart computer. Press F12 for the boot menu. Choose your pen drive. This option for the 32-bit version. This option for the 64-bit version. My computer processor is 64-bit, so I am selecting the 64-bit version. After opening the Acronis software, there are two options. The first is backup, which is used to create a full image file of the entire operating system. And the second one is used to restore the created image file. Click on the My Disks option in the backup to create a system image. Here we can see two partitions in disk 1, one is EFI file partition and other is AXT4 partition. These two partitions must be selected. But since I am creating a full system image, I am making a tick mark next to disk 1. By doing this, all the partitions in disk 1 will be selected together. Shown here is disk 2. This is the 32GB pen drive where the system image will be stored. But it should not be selected in any way. After that you have to do next. Then browse and select the removal drive. Then give a file name. The file of type will remain. Click OK. Backup method option will have incremental select. No changes are required here. These options are very important so you need to set them. By selecting active protection, a password must be set to make the image file password protected. You can encrypt the backup image file, but I am not encrypting it. You have to select the compression level option. There are four options, none, normal, high and maximum. It should always be selected to maximum, because the size of the system image file will be much smaller. No need to make any changes in HDD writing speed option. There is no need to make any changes to the free space threshold option. There is no need to do anything with the archive splitting option. There is no need to do anything in the error handling option. There is no need to do anything in the archive validation option. If you want to give the details of the image file, you can give it in the comment option. Then click on proceed and the system image backup will start. Tick it and the computer will restart after the image backup is complete. And if you click on it, the computer will shut down after the image backup is complete. 
it may take a while. After the system image backup operation is successfully done, restart your computer. After the computer is restarted, after opening the home folder, selecting the pen drive, you will see the system image file in it. You can copy and paste it into a folder on your computer. This option for the 32-bit version. This option for the 64-bit version. My computer processor is 64-bit, so I am selecting the 64-bit version. If you need to restore the image on a system, then go to the Recover option. Then click on My Disks. Then Browse. Click on the Removal Drive, because it contains the system image file. Select the system image file and click on OK option. Then enter the password of the image file. Must do next. The default selection in the recover option should be kept as it is. No need to change here. Must do next. What to recover option should be ticked only on disk 1. Must do next. Disk 1 must be selected, because the full system image is being recovered. Must do next. Now only proceed system image recovery will start. Tick it and the computer will restart after the image backup is complete. And if you click on it, the computer will shut down after the image backup is complete. It may take a while. After recover operation succeeded, restart your computer. After the system restarts, you will see that the operating system and all the installed application software have been installed correctly. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get latest video updates. If you have any questions or suggestions about the video, please comment. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.